All right, so let's say you got a Windows keyboard and you plug it into your Mac. And before you start using it, or at least when you try to use it, you notice a couple odd things. First of all, why is there a Windows key? This isn't a Windows computer. Second of all, what's that weird button do? Third of all, where's my command key? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix all those things and make this keyboard a lot more usable on your Mac. So. Uh, I'm starting, so on the top here is a picture of a conventional Mac keyboard, on the bottom is a picture of a conventional Windows keyboard. The first thing you'll notice is that on the Mac keyboard, when you use your Mac, you'll be mainly focused on the command key, right? Oh, that's your main sort of um, pivot point for all of your um, keyboard shortcuts. So for example, to copy, you do command C, to paste, you do command V, to select all, you do command A, and so on. On the Windows keyboard, on the other hand, control is your main sort of pivot point. You do control C, control V, control A. However, when you go to use your Mac, you notice that it's a little bit awkward to have that because if you try to use control, it doesn't really work like that. You see, when you plug in a Windows keyboard, your Mac automatically does three things. It tries to figure out what these modifier keys do. It'll first assign control to your control key on the Mac, which is not how these shortcuts usually work. It then assigns your Windows keyboard, your Windows key to the command key. And then finally, it assigns the alt key to the option key. However, if you notice, this is a little bit backwards from what we're used to. Normally, your command key is going to be right next to the space bar, and the option key is going to be one away from that. But on Windows, the option key is right next to the space bar, and the command key is one away. I'm going to show you how to fix that, and you could swap those two around very easily. So the first thing you do is you go up to the Apple menu, and you click System Preferences, or use Spotlight, and just type in System Preferences, like that. Oh yeah, I'm using my Windows keyboard, so it's all clacky. Really loud, great. So. Uh, then what you do is go over to the keyboard section, and then you go to modifier keys on the bottom right. And here, you're going to have to select your keyboard at the top first. So it should recognize, you should be able to click and, and get the right model name, but if it doesn't, it's probably going to be the one that you don't recognize in here. So for example, I have my internal keyboard. Um, this is my USB receiver for my, um, for my keyboard because this keyboard has a USB pass-through, and then finally my Bluetooth keyboard, so I know it's the Black Widow Chroma. Uh, then you're going to want to swap around these two keys as I've done here. I've set the option key to become command, and I've set the command key to become option. So this is flipping them around. So basically it tells the computer that whenever I press my command key on my Windows keyboard, also known as my uh, Windows key, do the option command in the operating system. And likewise, when I press the option key on my Windows keyboard, also known as the alt, do the command key. And now by pressing OK, um, whenever I press Alt, so let's do some basic shortcuts like Alt Spacebar to open up Spotlight. If I do Alt Spacebar, there you go. It's a little bit weird and you're going to have to get a bit used to pressing Alt and have it act like Command. Uh, if you want, you can print out like a little sheet of paper and doodle on the Command logo and paste it on there. Or you can print out a little picture and tape it on there. Um, I don't know, whatever works best for you. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. If you now. This actually applies to the other side of the keyboard as well. If you notice on Windows, if we go back to the little pictures, you have two command keys and you also have two alt keys. This will apply to both alt keys and both Windows keys as well if you have two Windows keys. The keyboard I have does not have two, but in the picture it does, so we'll go by that. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and let's see if this will be the shortest video I've uploaded yet. I think so.